Hello and welcome to my video on how to find your biological father in 10 minutes with DNA. This is a journey I've been on myself. I found my own biological father with DNA. Now, I knew absolutely nothing about him in the beginning, so I didn't know his name, his previous addresses, date of birth, family members. I knew zero information and I used DNA exclusively to, to find him um, and ultimately you know, track him down, meet up with him, you know, see where I came from. And what I found is I found the process was very complicated. You know, there's hundreds of different sort of companies, hundreds of different companies out there uh, who you can take DNA tests with. And I'd done lots of research to find out who the right companies were to test with. And this video is just going to break it down for you so you don't have to do all of the research I did. And I'm just going to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to be able to find your biological father with DNA as well. So step one, go on over to Ancestry.com and order a kit. You can trust me on this one, so Ancestry.com, uh, they're the biggest players in this game. They've got the biggest database of uh, DNA for autosomal DNA, which is what we're going to be testing with. You know, absolutely, that these are the right guys to do the, do the test with, or do your first test with. So once you're over there, order the test, and then wait for the kit to arrive. Uh, the kit to arrive, that's going to take about you know a week or two, depending on where you are in the world. And then provide your sample and return the kit. So that providing your sample, that's just spitting in a spitting in a tube, uh, and then return the kit. Uh, one tip there is to make sure you don't uh, drink or eat anything. You know, at least an hour before you spit in the tube. You, know, you don't want bits of food in your in your sample or bits of drink in your sample that mess it up, uh, because otherwise they won't be able to they won't be able to get the results out properly, and then you'll have to um, you have to retest. So once you've provided your sample, wait for your results to come. That's going to take anywhere from 3 to 12 weeks, uh, depending on how busy they are. So Ancestry like to do offers around you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, Christmas, that, that's at those times of year. So if it's that time of year and you're looking at taking a test, they also do discounts at that time of year, which is very, very nice because you can get money off, which is great. Um, so if, if you test around those times of year, then yeah, it's, you might wait the full 12 weeks. But if you test at a quiet, quiet period... Uh, when there's no promotional offers, then you could just be waiting the three weeks. And I've taken lots of tests with Ancestry.com for lots of different people. And I've I've had to wait just three weeks sometimes. And, and sometimes in the busy periods, I've had to wait the full 12. So uh, step F, optional, uh, re repeat steps A to E for your biological mother or someone else that you are related to on your biological mother's side. Uh, so this step is optional, but also highly recommended. If you can do it, you should absolutely do it. Um, and I do recommend if you can do it, doing it at the same time that you do your your kit as well, so you're not waiting, you know, you know, double the time for the kits to process. Uh, the reason that this step is so useful is because if you get your biological mother to test, or, or let's say for example, if she's not around, then you could get uh, an aunt or uncle on your biological mother's side of the family to test. Then when you get your matches, uh, you're going to match people on your biological mother's side of the family and also people on, the bio on your biological father's side of the family. So if you match somebody and you share that match with somebody on your mother's side of the family, then you can rule them out as a, as a search of interest or a match of interest in your search for your biological father. So it's effectively going to half the amount of people you have to go through in order to find your biological father. So let me just give you a short demo of what that looks like. Uh, ordering the kit from Ancestry.com. I'm just going to bring across that website. Okay, so here it comes. So this is what the Ancestry site looks like. I'm on the .co.uk version uh, because I'm based in the UK, but if you're US based, you'll see a similar similar site, but for .com. And you can see here they've got a nice button uh, it says order your DNA kit. So you want to go ahead and click that button. And that's gonna that's gonna load up here. So you can see if they've got an early bird Christmas sale offer on, so you get ten pounds off. Uh, and that there'll be there'll be a similar discount in the US version as well. So you want to go ahead and buy that. And it's gonna ask you for all of your information. So it's gonna ask you your name, email, password, um, you know, payment details. So go ahead, buy the kit. Uh, when the kit comes, submit your sample. And let's go back to the uh, back to the slide. Okay. So on to step two. Uh, take another DNA test. So this is for the guys only or girls. If you've got a 
male sibling that you know you share the same biological father with, then you, then you can ask them to test. If, if you're a girl and you don't have somebody that can do the test for you, then skip to step three. Uh, but for the guys, uh, so we've got, go over to familytreedna.com. And, and again, trust me, familytreedna.com, they're the biggest player in the Y-DNA field. Um, and or probably the MT DNA field as well, but we're going to be testing Y DNA because we're looking for our biological father uh, with these guys. So order the Y DNA kit. I recommend the 37 marker kit, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Uh, wait for the kit to arrive. Depending on where you are in the world, that can take anywhere from you know one week to to three weeks, something like that. And then provide your sample and return the kit, and track your kit for peace of mind. Wait for your results. Uh, so your results can take anywhere from a few weeks, again up to 12 weeks, depending on how busy they are. And let me just go ahead and give you a short demo of what, what ordering that kit looks like on Family Tree DNA. I'm just going to just going to go and grab the grab the site here. So let me go back to the uh, to the website you're going to see. So this is what it looks like when you first go to their website. And you just want to hit the shop now button. And you can see here they've got lots of different lots of different tests. Um, now the reason that I recommend doing the Ancestry.com test for your autosomal DNA is because you can then actually upload your DNA into Family Tree DNA for free. Um, but you can't do it the other way around, right? So if you test with Family Tree DNA, you can't then upload your DNA for free into Ancestry. You can only do it from Ancestry into Family Tree DNA. Uh, but we're not interested in that at the moment. What we're interested in here is the is the Y DNA test. So scroll down here, and you can see they've got the the Y thirty seven test. This is the test here that we're going to take. So go ahead and and hit this. This is the one hundred and sixty nine dollars. Again, these guys do offers at, at different times in the year. So if you want to save yourself a bit of cash, then you know wait for for Mother's Day, Father's Day, you know Christmas, something like that, and and I'm sure they'll be doing an offer. Obviously, you want to you want to select your male again. Females can't do this test, so it needs to be a male that does it. Um, you want to order the order the test, proceed to checkout, and uh, and yeah, and wait for the kit to arrive. Submit your sample, and then wait for your results to come in. Let's go back to the deck. On to step three. So analyze your ancestry.com results. So receive your results. You'll get an email notification saying, "Congratulations, your results are in." Uh, it's a very exciting day. I know I was very excited when I got my results. Um, and then you can log into the website and see and see your matches. So go over to Ancestry.com. Analyze your top matches and analyze your DNA heritage. You can see there uh, where your DNA comes from in the world with, uh, with you know, great, great, great ancestors, whereabouts you're, you originate from. And contact your top matches. Introduce yourself. Take it slow. Uh, take it slow. That's a it's a good tip. It's something that I got um, from from somebody else who is very experienced in this. You know what you don't want to do is you don't want to jump straight in there and say, you know, I don't know who my biological father is. Are you my dad? Now that's just going to scare people off. Uh, if you if, even if you just say, you know, I don't know who my biological father is. You know, can you help me? A lot of people will be will be scared off by that. You know, get to know them. Get to, you know, have some conversation. You know, ask them. You know, where they're from in the world why they're on Ancestry.com, what they're looking to get out of the process, and have they found it interesting. Um, once you've got to know them a bit, uh, then, then then break the news that you know, you, you know, you're know you looking for your biological father. And um, I, what I try and, what I did was I tried to take the work away from them. So I would analyze their family tree. I would ask them questions about their family tree, about their, their ancestry. And then I would really take the lead on, um, on you know, how they could help me in my search for my biological father. Now, and if you're interested in, in that in more detail, then I'm going to be doing more videos and we're going to deep dive into that, you know, how to contact your matches, how you can analyze their family trees and how you can, you know, figure out exactly how you're related to somebody. So make sure you like and subscribe for future videos. Uh, this video is just going to be a quick one, trying to wrap it up in 10 minutes. So we'll jump, jump on to the next, the next steps. So complete family tree analysis, analyze their tree, and try and establish where you might fit into another person's family tree. Um, it's, that's, it can be quite tricky, but it, it's also um, you know easy if you know how. So make sure you do like and subscribe if you need more detail on that. And then optional, once you've built up a relationship with your top matches, 
Now, some people will be put off by this, but this is something that, you know, unlocked the door for me. This is a key step in finding my biological father. I'm offered to pay for an Ancestry.com DNA test for relatives of theirs that are likely to get you closer to your biological father. So let's say, for example, you match somebody and you're like a second cousin um, or a third cousin and you want to get to that first cousin match, right? Because you want to get be, you want to get closer uh, in your matching. Then what you could do is you could ask uh, one, you know, one of their parents to take a DNA test at an Ancestry.com dot dot com dna test now people unless you're very lucky people aren't going to do this for free so if you offer to pay for it for them that's going to that's going to make it a lot easier for them to do the test and you can say look you're really going to really help me out i'm i really think if you know if your father or your your mother did a dna test then we could i could figure out how i'm related to you that the people you, you'll be surprised people are very willing to do this um, and to help you out and repeat steps C to G until your research identifies your biological father. So keep going through these steps, you know, keep analyzing, keep contacting your matches, look out for new matches. So it might be that you don't have any second cousin matches in the beginning or third cousin matches. Now, if that's the case, then you can then, then you can always wait. You know, more people are testing every day and eventually you might get a top match that pops up, maybe a first cousin or a second cousin. And, and just keep going through these steps, you know, C, D, E, F and G until you find your biological father and demo in a future video so in a future video like i said i'm going to go into that in a lot more detail and how to do the searching how to do the the match searching the family tree analysis so make sure you like and subscribe for future videos so you can see there step i popped up early uh, i don't know what happened there now but step four analyze your family tree dna results so receive your results go to familytreedna.com analyze your top matches Contact your top matches, introduce yourself, and again, take it slow. Uh, complete family tree analysis. So ask these guys if they've got a family tree. Try and figure out how you match them on, on YDNA, who your biological father might be. Uh, so what's quite important here is, let's say, for example, you match somebody at 37 markers, which is the test uh, we you know you took uh, or you're going to take for the, for the YDNA. If you match somebody at, on 37 markers, then what that tells you is that you, is that you share, um, you know, the same uh, male heritage line right so y dna is passed down from father to son father to son father to son so let's say for example you you match somebody on y dna and he's two generations above you uh, then it's it's unlikely that he's going to be your biological father but he might have um he might have a, a brother or he might have a, a a nephew that is your biological father so this is where the family tree analysis uh, comes into into play and what you're uh, for YDNA and what you're looking for is, is you're looking for people that would have been you know around the area that you were um, or your your mum was when you were conceived you know t t timing and location is everything when you're looking for for your biological father so you're looking you're looking for people that uh, yeah are going to be around the around this around the same place and, and around the right time for, in order for you to be able to conceive or your mother for, be, to be able to conceive you um, and try and establish where you might fit into another person's, person's family tree uh, again and age and location key points there and this is optional uh, but also a very very um, useful and recommended point so once you have built up a relationship with your top matches um, if you really can't figure out how you match these guys and you know they're not your biological father and that's you know off the table then what what you could do is you could offer to pay for an ancestry.com dna test for them now the reason that that's going to help you is because y dna just says that you inherit the same y dna or you have the same y dna as them um, but what ancestry.com does is it tells you how closely you are related so that you don't know for example if that is that person a you know a first cousin match a second cousin match um is is it an aunt an uncle and and ancestry.com will give you that information so if you really can't figure out how you're related to them offer to pay for it for, for the um, ancestry.com dna test uh, to progress your search and repeat steps d to g until c to g until your research identifies your biological father and if you're interested in more detail on how to analyze your Y DNA, then I'm absolutely going to be doing deep dives into that in future videos. So make sure you like and subscribe for the future content. Uh, step five, uploading your DNA to other sites for free. So go to Ancestry.com, download your DNA, uh, which you can do. You can download it in raw text format, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then go to FamilyTreeDNA.com. 
and upload your ancestry.com DNA. Uh, so you can do that free of charge, and then you can get all of um, Family Tree DNA's uh, uh, database uh, people in as matches as well, uh, free of charge, which is pretty amazing. Uh, and then also go to jedmatch.com. This is another place that you can upload your DNA for free. Uh, so do that. Get, get your ancestry.com DNA and upload it to Jedmatch, and and see who your matches are on there. And all of the all of these matches, they're just going to be additional matches, right? So you could just find somebody that's a little bit closer, and that could be the key to finding your biological father. Uh, next one, go to myheritage.com uh, forward slash DNA forward slash upload, and upload your ancestry.com DNA to myheritage as well. Uh, contact your top matches, introduce yourself, take it slow. Uh, so a lot of these places will give you email addresses. Uh, some of them, I think the uh, My Heritage one, you have to be a member to message people. Uh, but definitely Family Tree DNA and Jedmatch uh, will give you email addresses where you can contact people for, for free, which is great. And optional, once you've built up a relationship with your top matches, if you really can't figure out how you're related and you want to get closer to your biological father, you know, be open to, to paying for an Ancestry.com DNA test for them, or sorry, for relatives of theirs that are likely to get you closer to your biological father. And I always recommend that you go gen trying to go a generation higher, right? So you go for their parents or, or an aunt, uncle of theirs, uh, because that's going to get you closer to, to your biological father. Um, okay, so... So that's it, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe for future demos of DNA uploading. I am gonna I am gonna go into you know lots of detail on how to and and actual demos showing you how to upload all of your DNA to these different sites. So uh, like and subscribe if you're interested in that. Uh, future videos and series that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing a video on how to find your biological parents in ten minutes. So you might be adopted uh, or something like that. And if if you if if you're interested in that, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to do a how to find your biological mother in 10 minutes as well. Also going to be doing deep dives into analyzing your matches at Ancestry.com, Family Tree DNA, Jedmatch and MyHeritage. And if you want something else, just ask. I don't bite. Um, it's, this is my first video here. And I'm going to be looking, you know, making a good channel on DNA and finding your biological uh, relatives. If you've got any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Now, or if you don't want to comment, feel free to email me, dnadanyt at gmail.com. Um, and that's it. So thank you very much. I apologize for going over. I, I think I said I was going to be, this was going to be a 10 minute video. It took me 16. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you very much. Cheers.